My name is Stuart Perrin. I was in the plane crash. I was with Rudy the moment he died. When the plane crashed, um, I was knocked unconscious. And when I awoke about five or 10 minutes later, I got out of the plane and I saw Rudy lying on the floor and Bo had told me that Rudy is dead. I got down on my knees and I tried to give him mouth to mouth resuscitation. And when I realized finally that Rudy had left, I felt a very strange sensation inside myself. It was never a sensation of missing him and never a sensation of having lost anything. I felt this incredible gratitude in my heart that he had brought me with him, that he allowed me to be there the moment that he left the world. I never felt for a second that he was gone. And now, 35 years later, I still don't feel for a second that he is gone. If I want to find Rudy, I just look in my heart. He's there, he has always been there. He was there before I even met him. And he is there while I studied with him for six years. And he's been with me for 35 years after he left the world. He told me thousands of times while I sat with him, whether it was in class or his store or in his house or driving up to Big Indian, the guru is in the disciple's heart. If you want to find your teacher, you have to go where your teacher lives. That's inside your heart. The thing I loved about Rudy was that he was more than just a love, peace, and eat vegetables type guru. You know, he was more than just a person who talked about what you had to do to get enlightenment, what told you about enlightenment, told you about living with consciousness and awareness and love. But he actually had a technique that allowed you to learn how to do this. To me, this was something extraordinary. I had been to, I don't know how many other teachers and gurus and swamis and rishis and all kinds of wise people that spoke about enlightenment and spoke about occult things and cosmic things and all kinds of spiritual things. But I had never met anybody who taught me how to do it, who taught me how it was possible for me, Stuart Perrin, to get past that tension, that craziness, that dysfunction that was in myself, how to transform all of that dysfunction into an open heart and a spiritual life. Now, there's a lot of craziness in the world. There's a lot of tension in the world. And we as people have to deal with that tension every day. And to me, the great thing I learned from Rudy was how to transform all of that craziness, all of that tension, all of that difficulty, and all of the things that seemed impossible to me when I was a young man, into an open heart, into love, into joy. To me, the double breathing exercise that Rudy taught is the great legacy he left the world. There are hundreds of folk tales and stories and wonderful memories people have about Rudy. But the one thing that he left that is really practical and that anyone can do and anyone can use to open and develop a spiritual life is the meditation technique, the double breathing exercise. In my own life, every day, day after day, I sit down, I do that double breathing exercise and it simply transforms all the tensions of my day into an open heart, into love, into joy, into a connection with God, into basically a spiritual life. And I can use it to transform all my negativity and all the things that are problems in my life and tensions in my life into an open heart. I believe we're born here to be happy people. I believe we're born here to love ourselves, to love other people, to have compassion, 
and, you know, to truly live with understanding and patience. And in order to do this, we have to know how to transform all of our problems into an open heart. Happy people are enlightened people. Joyous people are enlightened people. And being happy has little or nothing to do with ego, mind, what you think is happy, what you think is not happy, what you think is right or wrong. It has to do with only one thing, and that is opening your heart, feeling love inside, feeling joy inside yourself, and to be able to live with that love and that joy every single day of your life.